Hello, my name is Clark. I live in Falls Church, Virginia. I'm an amateur gardener. Um, a couple years ago, I bought these uh, enclosures from uh, Garden Supply. Uh, they were four by eight, and I planted them on the ground, secured them to the ground, and it really didn't do didn't do much to keep uh, birds and or uh, squirrels out. We have some pretty amazing squirrels here, so. This year I did raised beds and I secured the base of these 4x8 um, enclosures with, uh, with wire and um, staples to the base of the raised bed. And um, it also does not keep out squirrels, okay? Uh, what they do is they, they chew a hole. You can see where a hole was chewed right there, you kind of see it. And uh, this happened last weekend. It's been up for a couple weeks now, or several weeks. And uh, looks like what happened was was that a uh, one of the rodents got in here, probably a big a big squirrel, and basically went nuts until it figured out how it got in. And so they destroyed three of these bushes. You can you can sort of see that these are completely ruined. Uh, especially that one right there. That was a that was a beefsteak. It had two beautiful beefsteak tomatoes on it that uh, will never that are in some rodents uh, digestive tract now. So uh, yeah, it's, it completely destroyed three bushes out of the four that were in this enclosure, and then uh, they keep coming back, and uh, I haven't been able to keep them out. Um, this is these are all uh, cherry tomatoes. And it looks like um, one of them chewed a hole right there. You can kind of see it right there. And that's how they keep getting in. So you know, I look out here every once in a while and there's a, uh, <clears throat> there's a squirrel uh, eating a cherry tomato um, on its haunches. And this is how they get in. So um, keep that in mind before you purchase one of these. If you have smart... Uh, squirrels like I do, it doesn't stop them. So I'm going to have to figure out something else next year. Cheers. Okay.